question is what do you like about prakrit mm, i really like the teachers and the interactivity of the classes and yeah also i like how the school gives lots of breaks between classes I like how the teachers teach and the variety of subjects that are offered. What I like about Prakriti is that the teaching style is much different from the schools where I study. They like this, uh, like uh, Prakriti, like stands out in their teaching style, and all the teachers are really friendly and nice. Well, I um, think, yeah, Sakshi, then go ahead. Um, I, I think that Prakriti's teacher is a very patient with all the students. Well, um, what I like about Prakriti is obviously the way of teaching and everything is so very different. Even though I have not been to many other schools for like the past six years, I haven't been to a school, but I feel that the teachers are pretty nice. They're interactive, they're patient, they let, let you ask all sorts of questions and they give answers to them. So I really like the, uh, the teachers and also some of the schools uh, like Prakriti has really adapted to this online format and made it super comfortable and everything it, it doesn't really feel like you're doing online school it's like as if you're actually doing school and i like how Prakriti did that as my you know my brother and sister schools have like this you can feel the difference between online and physical but in Prakriti i feel like we're attending school i talk with my classmates and i talk with my teachers everything seems pretty Similar. So I like that about Prakriti. Prakriti was named Prakriti because of the concepts that they teach here connect us with nature and Prakriti means nature. And uh, the school is also very nature friendly and it has, all, it's, uh, has a lot of greenery. Okay. The true meaning of being joyful is expressing our happiness. Um, it basically, when we're joyful, it basically, it it boosts our energy and it boosts our immune system and it just overall improves our performance in the classroom and with being joyful you're happy and it inspires creativity for for any activity that you have to do and i think being joyful just really helps you overall in class I agree with Gia. I think being joyful will help you excel in class and achieve more things in class because you'd have that drive and motivation to like do your assignments, to have fun in class and to learn more stuff. And also being joyful is to understand yourself in a way like where you can be happy with yourself and you can have fun in your own company. And it really helps with your drive and the things you want to achieve in life. Um, so being joyful in class or uh, like in anything, uh, I have experienced it before. And I experienced it many, uh, it, it happened to me many times. And especially when I first joined, the first day uh, I joined school. So uh, when all the classes ended, I actually felt happy, uh, you know, just learning everything, meeting new people, new teachers and different classes. And I felt that before also. And I think it's, um, and I like how the school tries to achieve that uh because it might not happen all the time and you might just feel bored in class and not happy for many weeks but it's still something that uh keeps happening once or twice uh when you you don't know uh 
it's not like a thing that you know why you're joyful. It's just that uh, you just feel happy. Mm. I think being joyful in classes to me is like, you know, being thankful for what you're getting. Like, you know, some kids around the world don't even have any, like, you know, the, like, you know, we are getting like, you know, the right kind of education, like how to pronounce words. And in future we may have, you know, we may get better jobs, bigger jobs. You know, we like, you know, may have a lot of money. So we can, you know, make our own house. So like, you know, like some people around the world don't even like, you know, have education. They're teaching the wrong information and it's been going down for generations and generations. Like if you still observe those places, it is still happening. So like, I think being thankful is like, you know, whatever you're learning right now, the way you are pronouncing your words, the information you're learning, you should be proud of it and you should be thankful that you're getting it. Um, Prakriti's way of learning, which is not learning the dictionary um, definition, but actually going into why and how by doing hands-on activities, it just makes learning more joyful. And I feel happy when I learn something. I don't feel like it's a burden on me. It's, uh, it's like something that makes me happy. Which is your favorite game in the Prakriti? Yes, true. Uh, I will go with Chain Chain because it unites everybody and it gives us the aspect that we all have to work together to catch somebody. So it's fun and it also has a more. What is your favorite activity of most? So um, I feel like uh, group activities as in like like draw sad chain chain and maybe like um, probably yeah I mean like the physical activities we do usually in school I think that would be uh, quite fun. Oh, thank you. Uh, what is uh, what is fav your favorite activity of most? Yes, Grove. My favorite activity is science and the part where we make models. Like last year we made wind, uh, wind energy projects. So that is my favorite part. Anyone else? Okay, yes, mom. So my favorite subject is math and the favorite part is when we make games and riddles. Anyone else? No one. Yes, Namesh. Um, so my favorite activity of all in here is when we are told to build any model or some thing that we have to construct on our own. Previous practice, not the new one. Uh, so, what comes in your mind when you see or imagine that? And tell me your first thought that what comes into your mind. What, what do you imagine? Like, if you see anything and what comes into your mind? So, what comes uh, if you see the old practice? Yes, Dhruv? Uh, when I see the old practice or imagine it, old memories come into my mind, like hiding and waiting for Didi to appear and then scaring her, playing with blocks, running after rabbits, hiding in tunnels, skipping classes, observing plants. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, and someone else? The sand and the rabbits. I feel like uh, probably the classrooms. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. 
my next question is do you no amaya that if you were allowed to change the like uh, the school's name from prakriti to something else what would it be yes dhruv bhaiya i feel like i could not change it because in prakriti everything is connected to prakriti which is a hindi nature okay Come on. Like both school have pros and laws. Like, so like the new school, it has like it's big and it has more activities. But the old school, we sit on the ground and uh, like old memories are related to it. So like both are good. So we can't choose between them. Okay. I rather choose the old school. Anybody yes. else? Well, the new one is bigger. The old one is more special. Uh, both are good, but to be honest, like the bigger school is mm. like much more colder, and so it has like it has an open like structure, and the old school is like um, it is like filled with uh like everything that we like we all like. I mean, um, that's where we like studied first, and right now we're like studying at the bigger school. So that makes both of them really special to I think all of us. Okay. Full name that's Prakriti. Uh, that's a really hard question. I can't do. No, it's okay. You can still take <laughs> guesses. Like, why is it that the school was named Prakriti? Hmm. Because Prakriti is equal to nature. Nature is equal to beauty. Yes, prakriti is close to nature. Okay, all right. So, why is it that we associate the school with nature? Uh, because because this is meaning is nature. Ah, huh? prakriti is meaning. Right. Because we study nature, we study yes. Nature. Okay, yeah. Kimaya. Deeti, that I wanted to ask is that can we also write our answers in the chat box? Do you feel about leaving the old campus? Okay, I'm Deeti very sad. Hmm. Me uh, too. But my campus is very sad. I feel like. Let's be honest. You might miss the campus, but there are still guinea pigs in the new campus. I'm really happy. And two dogs. Are you happy about leaving the old campus? Yes, I am. Why? Why, Ayan? Ah, uh, because I mean the old campus is but not that large, but the campus new campus. campus it has like trampoline, badminton court, a pool, in photos, table tennis, Free house. The best right. thing I like about the Just thought that might be fun for you to know. Well, I have achieved my goal of learning more things, but uh, not in the form of um, memor, or not by memorizing, but by understanding. In my uh, in my previous school, there was this notebook in which we had to write down all things. and i used to memorize all of the questions and the answers but uh, here as there is no note as there is no books or anything uh, which is e uh, which is uh, hard enough to not uh, understand and memorize so i am easily able to not memorize so i was i didn't used to um, understand a lot of stuff in fractions but i used to mug up the definitions uh, but when i came here i realized that, uh, the definitions are too complicated to mug up but easy enough to understand so i understood the definitions and i am now clear about fractions okay all right 
that's something very specific namha that's the kind of answer we're looking for do not generalize thank you namha i have probably uh, learned how to make presentations and how to gain confidence when you're speaking to like uh, i've gained confidence when i'm uh, giving a presentation or uh, speaking to the class um like when we do our uh, research projects in igs for example uh, we when we present them uh, i i used to in my previous school we never really made uh, research projects and pre presentations and when we had to present they were not um, very good and no one was confident about their work uh, and uh, about what they were saying and i learned how to become more confident and uh, confident and give uh, my presentations i learned stuff i learned everything i have learned uniforms and no uh, why don't we wear uniforms and do you like it i don't know why we don't wear uniforms and do you like it uh yeah i do like i do like it um so why do we call our teachers didi or bhaiya um aditya bhaiya would you like to answer that um so we call the uh, teachers didi and bhaiya because it's well I, i don't know exactly why we do that and i'm i've only been in the school for a year so i believe it's because uh it it like it's like we are all equal so we are all didi and bhaiyas and so it's like it, there's no there's no ma'am or sir uh like everyone is didi or bhaiya which is like we're all equal and we learn from each other okay so uh, why can't we bring our own lunch to uh, to school asking why we don't bring our own lunch to school um i guess school doesn't want us to bring junk food like chips from home so that's why they make um food at school and serve us instead of us bringing junk food my question is that what was your favorite moment in school shiv bhaiya Um, yeah. So um, my favorite moment in the school was um, like my birthday celebration. Maybe because um, uh, I find it pretty good when uh, we celebrate uh, each person's birthday uh, like individually, and uh, yeah, that was one of the best days. um my favorite moment in the school was probably my first day here i think i was in grade 3 and um i don't know it was just very interesting to see the so see what all was happening in the school since i came from a um a different school not like prakriti so it was quite interesting um i haven't had a favorite moment in school yet because i've only been here for maybe a few weeks but i really like the school and the teachers and my classmates uh, um uh, uh, what was your funniest moment in prakriti so um maybe shivaya you want to I've been in Prakriti for only one year, and I've not really uh, gone physically. So, um, like I've been there physically for only like ten days, and I don't have a funny moment yet. But I'm sure that I have. Um, I've had quite a few funny moments. I. Uh, do you want me to describe one? Y yes, anyone. Okay, so it it was in grade five, I think, and 
our class played a played a prank on grade five, grade four at that time. That was quite hilarious. So, what prank was it? Can you tell? So, so we made um, we made up a story that all of us were playing, and then Ivan hit his head on a table, and he started bleeding from his head. So. We we had to go run around the whole school, find children, and even the principal came, and so many kids were crying, and Shilpa Didi and Ridhul Bhaiya were all scared for Ivan, and then Ivan just got up and said, "It's a prank," and that was hilarious. <laughs> that was quite a funny one. Anybody next from Great Six who wants to um ask a question? Ojas. Yes, I can ask a question. So yes, we don't have a cafeteria at school. So do you like it or do you hate it like me? Anybody? Oh, just also tell that who should speak. Um, um which uh, whoever that has been to the real school, not the virtual mode, so they can answer the calls. So I've needed the obviously because. Um, we don't. I don't know if I like it or not. It's just I would prefer if we had a cafeteria so we could buy stuff from there instead of having the food that they make. I agree. Okay, so next uh, maybe Pai. Yes. Um, how old is Prakriti? And I want to. My question is that do you like the school from the other schools? Anybody can answer. Yes. I actually like the school much better than my last school. Um, because I feel like they have a very casual and they have a fun atmosphere, and the teachers and the people in the class are really nice. Okay, so now anyone has any more questions? So, uh, so I like the school a lot. And I'm actually very happy that I found out about it and I could come because I lived in Mumbai before and I was not in a conventional school. I was in a Waldorf school. So it, it was very similar to the school. And then I was actually very sad that I had to leave because uh, I didn't want to join a conventional school. And so I was, I'm very happy that I found a school because it was very easy to fit in and get on the same page. And yeah. Um, for me, uh, yeah, the school is better because it's more friendly and it's more casual. So, um, like we learn from each other instead of the teachers teaching us. And uh, like we call our teachers Didi and Hadiya instead of Manish. Thinking. I don't think I can answer it right now. Okay. I think Dia Didi wants to say. Yes. Okay. So I would probably name. It does need a lot of thinking, but I would probably name it fashion education because in my school I would probably love for everyone to be passionate about what they're learning, and I would make the learning environment like fun with like experiments and stuff, so people are engaged with. What is going on in class? Okay. That's nice. um, I don't know if they have this in the physical school because I am not in Delhi, but um, I would love to add like computer science or computers because it's one of my favorite subjects outside of school. So that's what I would like to. Do anybody else wants to answer? Yes, Shukriya. Uh, 
Um, so I, I like everything about this school. Uh, and to add something, I would say uh, there are a few things that from my old school, uh, world of school that I would like to add some uh, fun and different artistic things that would make this school even better. Yes, Tamar and Timaya, you may ask. Which was your favorite team, school, and why? Mm, well, I've never been to physical school, but probably one of my favorite days in school was um, when we did a Hindi play. Like, when I first joined the school, we did a Hindi play, and that was kind of fun because we got to learn Hindi and we, we, we sat and we rehearsed for a play. I was Prakriti in India's Prakriti. Damn, look, just give your thought. What what would be the reason behind naming it as Prakriti? It was in our Prakriti school. Many things are natural. And Prakriti means nature. Oh my god, I think. Uh, okay, this. Yes.